The Galaxy 80's sleek space inspired design makes it look like a brilliant entry level keyboard, but have Epo Maker and Faker done enough in terms of build quality and feature set to make this a truly all star keyboard? Well, let's find out. Quick disclaimer, Epo Maker did send me this keyboard to review, but I didn't receive any compensation for it. Check out the link in the description if you want to learn more on their website. Beyond the very cool box and this magnetic panel which covers the USB receiver, this keyboard doesn't scream space at you, not in the way that the IQNX L80 Cosmic Traveler does. But this tendency towards simplicity is something I really appreciate about the Galaxy 80. It has a low key minimalist design that looks really sleek and beautiful on your desk, but it also gets out of the way and lets you focus on the task at hand. It comes in some very calm and soothing colorways, which really adds to this effect. And if you do want a pop of life to the keyboard, you can always switch into some really nice RGB modes that make the most of those south facing LEDs under the keycaps. Unfortunately you don't get any Mac specific keycaps in the package and I do find that those LEDs shine through the keycaps a little bit too strongly when you're viewing it at a lower angle but all in all this is a beautiful aesthetic and the build quality is very strong too with an aluminium chassis that feels really nice to touch and has quite a bit of heft. The Mac and Windows switches are concealed at the back of the keyboard alongside a USB-C port and you can switch between wireless and wired mode by toggling the on off button there too. When it comes to typing, the Galaxy 80 does not disappoint either. It comes with Faker's white marble switches which are 42 grams of force, a linear switch with 3.5 millimeters of travel. They're very light and responsive switches to type on and it gives you this kind of breezy airy feeling as you are doing your work. Because of that low actuation it's very comfortable to type on this keyboard for long periods of times and it's so accurate too I don't find myself making many typos and I also think it's a good option for gamers in that respect. The default keycap set doesn't give you that much help in terms of remembering what each function button is going to do and there are quite a lot of function commands that you'll have to memorize. That's a very easy thing to forgive especially given how great this keyboard sounds as well. It's crazy but those white marble switches really do sound like marbles. It actually took me back to my childhood when me and my brother would play with this beautiful set of marbles on the carpet floor. And as you type, you definitely get that lower frequency kind of clash of marbles coming together. But there are some nice higher frequencies in there as well, which round it off and make it all in all a really, really enjoyable experience. You know, this is one of the most impressive keyboards that I've ever reviewed. It comes in at 80 pounds here in the UK, so about $100. And for me, that is a brilliant price to be paying for a keyboard that has no real faults and actually excels in a number of areas too. If you're looking for your first pre-built mechanical keyboard, I think this is a brilliant option because it's going to give you that amazing aesthetic that you get with mechanical keyboards and it's going to give you a very solid grounding in all the fundamentals. My first ever mechanical keyboard was space inspired and that was the IQNIX L80 Cosmic Traveler. If you want to watch that video then check it out and <laughs> if not thanks so much for watching this one and I'll see you in a bit.